Do you want to DIY a dream nursery for your baby doll? Then this video is for you! Watch and create with our channel, Lollaloo! Any old box can be the base for the doll nursery. Leave three sides of a cardboard box. Measure pieces of patterned paper to fit in it. Attach double-sided tape to the bottom. Fasten a soft foam sheet onto it. Do the same with the walls. The colors are so gentle! We hope our baby princess will like it! Attach pictures on the wall so the baby's room always has a happy and cozy vibe. Let's create a cozy spot for sweet dreams! Cut the excess off wooden sticks. Glue the bars to the cap of a soap dish. This is a frame for our baby crib. Coat the whole frame with acrylic paint. Cover the plastic bottom of the crib with a strip of pink foam paper. Attach lace to the top edge. Add decorative ribbon the same way. Cut a piece of a fitting shape out of foam rubber. Cut the same piece out of foam paper. We will also need a strip of foam paper a bit wider than the foam rubber piece. Hot glue all three pieces together. There you go! The mattress for our little baby is done! Put it in so our baby sleeps tight! Let's add legs to our crib! Use beads! Cut rectangles out of fabric. Sew two layers to each other. Stuff the pillowcase you got with hollow fiber filling. When the pillow is stuffed, you can hot glue the edges. Carefully cut off the glue remains. These cushions are so cute and soft, just like cat's paws! Trace the shape of the crib on fabric and then cut it out. Decorate it with wavy elastic ribbon. What a nice blanket! You just can't wait to wrap yourself into it! Put beads onto a thread and hang the baby rattle onto the bars. Done! Now the baby won't have to stare at the ceiling for hours because it has a more interesting thing to do. Quiet! The baby is asleep! Separate the base from a hair curler. We'll make a bedside table out of it. So everything you need is nearby. Look what I found! A ring with a glowing bunny! We can make a cute night lamp out of it. And a baby rattle for a newborn out of a toothpick and a few beads. Put decorations on a toothpick from the biggest to the smallest. Paint the handle. Remove the excess when it's done. Now our baby can have fun when she wakes up. Attach a piece of measuring tape to the side of the room. We'll be tracking our baby's height. Cut a box in half. Place one half on fabric and mark cuts in four corners. Now cut out the base. Put the piece you got inside. Hot glue a ring to the back. That's a handle for the drawer. 
Do the same with the other half. Let's make the frame of our future wardrobe out of a box lid. First of all, cut wooden spatulas so the width is the same as the width of the wardrobe. Hot glue the first bar at the very base so the wardrobe stands still. Attach shelves and partitions with equal gaps between them. Decorate the top of the wardrobe with a strip of cardboard and a bow. Paint the back of the wardrobe and the shelves to be the same colors. All the baby's stuff will fit into this wardrobe. There is no such thing as too many toys, especially when it comes to your beloved baby. But the adults will be picking them up anyway. Cleaning becomes a pleasure when you have this amazing wardrobe. Any kid would be happy to have so many toys. Don't throw away a broken doll chair. We'll put it to use. Cut a straw into four identical parts. Glue the new legs to the chair. Wow! What a nice high chair! Make a new seat out of wooden spatula pieces. Cover all sides of the chair with pieces of wood. Make armrest out of thinner pieces so the baby doesn't fall while having lunch. Attach a plate stand onto the edges. Our high chair is almost ready. We just have to paint it. Add glitter and a foam paper star. Each meal will be amazing! That's it! We can serve food! The older we get, the less we believe we were kids once. That's why we are going to make real evidence! Cut photos and words out of a Barbie catalog for a baby diary. We'll use post-it notes instead of pages. Make a cover out of patterned paper. The whole diary will be holding on to the inside bending line of the cover. Fill the diary with the most important occasions and photos. Name, birthday, height, weight. Make a fastener out of two pieces of ribbon and tie a bow so all the nice memories are safe. Cut wooden spatulas to get the needed length and hot glue them to each other. Make the frame stronger with two diagonal wooden sticks. Coat the shelf with acrylic paint. Hot glue toothpick tips to the wall to be fasteners. Make the gap between them a little smaller than the frame. Here, we'll be storing everything our baby can't reach yet. Baby photos will not only be a nice decoration, but also a reminder of how much the parents love her. Uh-oh! We woke up the little miracle with our admiration! Don't cry! Mom's here! rock a -bye, baby! rock a -bye. Look! I think she's back asleep! Hold it! Baby, this is your favorite teddy bear! Hug it tighter! Oh, this sweet couple! Go back to the crib! An eventful and amazing day is ahead! Get your energy for tomorrow! We did such a great job today! And this wonderful room proves it! The baby will grow out of the crib soon and start going to school!
But for now, all this beauty and the loving parents will be near her and she will be the happiest. Did you like our adorable nursery ideas? Then subscribe to Lalaloo and click on the bell so you don't miss our baby growing up.